In this lesson, we're going to take a look at using states in fireworks. And to get yourself started, I need you to open the states.png file located in your exercise folder. And when it opens, you're going to see a simple button. Now, states are the state of an object. In other words, you would use these for things like buttons, rollovers, hotspots, and things like that inside of fireworks to indicate sort of interactivity and changes going on on the page. These do not affect layers. They do not affect pages. So let's take a look at how all this works. So when you have the object open, you're going to open up the states panel and you can see that it opens up and there's the state. And this is currently what we call the up state. Okay. You can name these anything you want. And when you're working with states, it's a really good idea to actually name them. Now, what I want to do is just make a down state of this. So I can duplicate the layer, which is probably the easiest way of doing it. So I'm going to duplicate this state. Now, there are a couple of ways of doing it. You can right click on the name and you can see there's duplicate state. You can uh, select the state, come to the pop down menu, duplicate state. Or you can just drag the state down to the new state button right there and duplicate the state. Let's just right click and duplicate. And you're going to have the duplicate state dialog box open. Now, we've only got one state here, so it's going to go after the current state. So just click OK. This is the number of states. You can actually tell it how many states you wish. This is good for things like GIF animations. Click OK. And you notice you got state 1 and state 2. So let's rename them. So we'll name state 1 up. Select state 2. Change the name to down. And what we're going to do with the down state is we're going to change the word to down. And we're going to add a little bit of something to the button here. So get the text tool, select the text, and just type in the word down. Deselect, and now select the chiclet here, and you can see that it's got handles. We'll get into all that later on. But right now, I just want to throw a drop shadow under it. So you come to the filters area of the properties panel, click the plus sign, shadow and glow, drop shadow. And if you deselect, you'll notice that the word down and a drop shadow. And if you come to the word up here in the states panel, there's your up state. So there's how you use states. You can use states to indicate interactivity. You can use uh, states for hotspots and rollovers and things like that.